Radio Giblets. Brother, help me. The prize will be mine. But we're family. Oh, family, brother? Does the love and warmth of family fill our bellies? Oh, nay, brother. It is cheese we strive for. You're lactose intolerant. Oh, it'll be worth the pain. You spineless rat. <gasps> the cheddar will be mine. Cheddar? No, brother. You sacrifice me for American. Gross. Let's go. Mondays, am I right? Not again. Just the same as the last ones. Hey everybody, my name's Nathan, and I'm part of Studio Giblets. We're a small independent animation studio that loves making goofy, old school style cartoons like Two Rocks and Mouse Bros. Recently, we set ourselves upon a seemingly impossible task. We wanted to use rigged character animation. These are characters with a bone structure that you manipulate. We wanted to use this type of animation to create something that was virtually indistinguishable from a traditional hand-drawn cartoon. Before we take this behind the scenes look at how we made Mouse Bros, I want to take a minute to thank our sponsor, Real Illusion. Cartoon Animator 5 makes professional grade animation software accessible. For example, a little over a year ago, I knew nothing about animation, but I followed Real Illusion's tutorials and used Cartoon Animator 4. From there, I was able to make all these cool shows like Spell Slingers and Two Rocks. To create Mouse Bros, we employed several new animation techniques. So first of all, Cartoon Animator 5 has a new feature called Spring Bones. These are a new physics-based type of bone structure that you can add to your characters. So for example, if you were to create a dog, you could add a spring tail. And the way that the tail works is when the rest of the dog moves, the tail reacts to that. So for example, if the dog is kind of jumping up and down, the tail will kind of wag with it automatically. So instead of having to keyframe the tail like you would have had to do in Cartoon Animator 4, the spring bones sort of animate themselves in a sense. So the hands okay. don't move, the legs don't move, but the mouse does move. So when the, when the pogo stick goes down, the pogo stick goes down first and the mouse stretches and then it catches up, overshoots, and bounces back into its original shape. But the pogo stick and the hands don't deform. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to go beyond tails and ears and whiskers. We wanted to use spring bones to make our entire characters bounce. So the two mice in Mouse Bros, Richard and Duncan, were designed around the spring bones. So everything is gonna move in relation to the pogo stick. So for the first bone, these are non-spring bones. So we put the root right here on the pogo stick. So for example, in these sequences where the mice are bouncing back and forth and they are jumping on their pogo sticks, the only thing that we had to keyframe was the pogo stick. We just moved it up and down and then the spring bones and the mouse did the rest. The other new Cartoon Animator 5 feature that we used in Mouse Bros was the Freeform Deformation Tool, or FFD. We use this in a couple of ways. So the first way we use this is for the shadows. So in Cartoon Animator 4, you could morph props very easily, but it didn't work on characters. Now the FFD tool works on entire characters. So for example, one of the ways that we used it was to put characters into perspective. So for example, in this shot, 
where the brown mouse is in the front and the camera is behind them, the camera is slightly above the brown mouse. So we kind of leaned the brown mouse forward to put him in the proper perspective. And then we also used the talking 360 heads. And we used these to give our characters more expression than they could have just naturally had. So the way these heads work is it gives the characters a full range of motion to look in multiple directions. So we use this in a couple of ways. The first way we use it is when the character is kind of distraught and he looks away from the camera in this scene where he realizes that Richard uh, cares about cheese more than he cares about him. He looks away and he's so sad. And then when he's ready to deliver his next line, he looks at the camera. So you can use this to make your characters way more expressive. And as we were using these 360 heads, we also, in the spirit of experimentation, we were trying to break new ground with this episode. We designed our heads in a new way. If you look closely, you'll notice something very interesting about their noses. So as you watch this head turn, the black part, the tip of the nose, is separate from the rest of it. And this allowed us to do two things. It allowed us to have more 3D depth on these head turns and it also allowed for smoother turns. So traditionally on a 360 head like this, you would use sprites. You would have one nose that was facing directly towards the camera and then another nose that was in profile. We used some animated props and backgrounds. For example, the tassels on the pogo stick. So these are just um, a couple of frames of animation that play on a loop that look like tassels kind of blowing in the wind. And we also paired this animated prop with the FFD tool to kind of put them in perspective. So you'll notice that when the tassels are in profile, they're a little bit longer um, and a little bit more flowing. But when you look at them directly, when the camera is directly in front of the tassels, they're kind of tucked in just a little bit to put them in the proper perspective. And last, the first thing that people notice about Mouse Bros is the line art. And we developed something very special there. So you'll notice that the line art's kind of wavy. It's kind of erratic and intentionally messy. This is something we did to kind of replicate that 19s kind of scratchy Disney style that they had back in the 1960s. To perfect this style required a little bit of trial and error because we knew what we wanted it to look like, but we didn't quite know how to make it look like that. So when you use a Cartoon Animator 5 character, the characters are made up of these things called sprites. They're little pictures that you put together and it makes the character move. Now, for each sprite, you can have multiple of the same one in the same spot that you change in and out. Kind of like in Cartoon Animator 4 with like hands. You can change multiple hands. You can have the character point, you can have them wave, you can use different hand sprites. So we had the idea to use multiple sprites of the same sprite in the same slot, but with slightly different line work. But we ran into a problem. We realized that only the first sprite will morph. So we wanted to make the most of the spring bones. We wanted the whole character to stretch and squash. So the way we kind of got around this was whenever you see one character in Mouse Bros, there are actually three in that same spot stacked on top of each other. And each one has different line art and they, they loop. So one character disappears, the next one appears, and then the third character appears when the second one disappears. So it's on this visibility loop that we made using the visibility tool. And that sounds kind of complicated, but it's really not. It's just three characters that are flashing in and out of visibility to kind of get that shaky line effect. What I love so much about that is it is combining hand-drawn animation, because you've got these hand-drawn lines, is combining this hand-drawn animation with this modern rigged character. I just think that's so cool. The other thing that makes Mouse Bros uh, very special is the number of camera angles and the different shots that we use. So the this one and a half minute episode required over 30 cartoon animator files that we had to combine together to tell this story. So we use these different camera angles because you can use different camera angles to tell different things to the audience. So for example, in this shot where uh, Duncan is surveying 
the canyon and he's trying to make his decision do I jump or do I turn back and he is very alone in that moment he's very isolated so we have him very small in the frame but in this other shot where he has made the jump and he has landed and Richard is kind of towering over him. Richard is in control of that situation. Richard is the one that decides whether Duncan lives or dies. So Richard takes up most of the frame. He is towering. He is big. He is the one in control of that moment. And then after Duncan says, brother, help me, Richard in short says, no. And that's when the camera shifts. Duncan's whole world kind of begins to shake beneath his feet. And in that 180 pan, they change positions. And this shows that Duncan's world has been turned upside down. It's a lot of work to do these different camera angles, but this is something that is very accessible to most cartoon animator users, because all you need, you need your characters from the front, you need them from the back, and then you need them in profile. And this will allow you to show them from different angles, to tell your stories in a very creative way. Another thing we pride ourselves on at Studio Giblets is our writing and our voice acting. We spend a lot of time doing both. We spend a lot of time in meetings together, preparing these scripts, making them as strong as they can be, so that there's this very sharp, back and forth, witty dialogue that's just super engaging and super fun. And then we take these lines to our voice actors and we have a voice acting call where we practice these lines together. And these are always super fun calls and lots of funny things come out of these. You know, and maybe some more beans on the side. So, you know, <laughs> a couple more beans. You got to plant, you got to buy them the plant of the grow up. That's what you got to do here. But the important thing is we'd use these phone calls to develop the chemistry, the back and forth between these characters so that when these lines combine, it feels like the two characters are in the same room. All those poor people. It's not that, Barry. I'm bald and mustachioed. This is also how we get a certain level of urgency and a certain level of conflict and tension behind our lines. So you can kind of feel the desperation in Duncan's voice when he starts to realize, oh, Richard is not gonna save me. And then you feel the sinisterness in Richard when he's like, no, I'm not gonna save you because I want the prize. And finally, the thing that kind of just takes Mouse Bros over the top is Mouse Bros has an all original musical score. So Rick and his partner wrote a symphony. And what makes this so special is they wrote this symphony to fit the animation. So each action these characters take, the music supports it. The music is building it up. So for example, when they are neck and neck here in this scene, on the pogo sticks. You hear these dueling violins just back and forth, back and forth as the mice are racing back and forth. Now this is not something that is accessible to all animators. Unless you're part of a studio and you have somebody that is just incredibly skilled with music, this might not be something that's feasible. However, you'll find a lot of royalty free music on YouTube that you can use for free as kind of like a background track for your cartoon. So you can still use background music to help tell your story, uh, but it kind of limits you and how much you can kind of sync it with the animation like we were able to do. I want to just take a minute and to thank everybody that's a part of Studio Giblets. And I just want to emphasize that I am just a small part of the studio. I've kind of become the front man just because I'm kind of good on camera. Because if I was just on my own, something like Mouse Bros would be completely impossible. These projects and these cool cartoons are only possible because of everybody that's involved with the studio. So if you are part of Studio Giblets, thanks so much. And for everybody else, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this behind the scenes look will help you make the most out of Cartoon Animator 5. Thanks so much for watching, bye bye.